good lord oh man i tell you good lord that is what that guy said when i told him that i could cut those five acres or four acres whatever it was for 70 dollars if i was him i wouldn't have took advantage of me like that look see being nice gets you nowhere that's why you need to charge high and sleep good flip it they got the money look i was across the street cutting this property for this elderly lady for free i'm gonna say it again i was across the street cutting this property for this elderly lady for free all right guy walk across the street he said hey man i'm wondering what you charge me to cut all of this i said man let's walk and look at it the whole time i'm thinking man i don't know what to charge i don't know what to charge then i was like well, man it's a church i really don't want to charge a church why not well man it's the lord's house listen they ain't get that building for free and they ain't get that land for free and you ain't fixing to work for free i said man you know what i said i said man i can cut it for you man it'd be 70 dollars he said huh I said, yeah, man, I don't want to charge you that much, man. You know, it's a church. I feel like a church should get a break. I said, $70. Oh, good Lord. Oh, I tell you, good Lord. That's what that dude said. Looking back, I should have hit him in his doggone mouth. Know what I should have did. Man, listen. When I tell, listen. He had no business walking up to me when all I had was a five by 10 and a 42 inch residential mower. He had no business coming over there where I was at. Man, listen. Oh, I can go. He had no business coming to stop me. It took me every bit, let me see. About five and a half hours to cut that yard and to weed in and to blow the parking lot. Now, this particular property, it wasn't grass. It was weedy grass. You know when you, you know them, you know them tall weeds I'm talking about. When you run over them with the mower, you look back and it's still standing up looking at you. Man, your blades probably wasn't sharp. My blades were sharp. Listen. I remember the first time I cut that property, it was a Saturday about eight o'clock. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 1, 30. That's the time I got it there because I remember going to the barber shop and my barber's like, oh, bro, you had to work today? I said, nah, man, I've been cutting grass all day. I ain't made nothing but 70 off. Looking back, I would lose every time. Every time I was pulling up, I was losing money. Look, what I should have did, I should have just pulled up at that guy's property and put three hundred dollars on, put three hundred dollars in the envelope, slid it through the. I should have woke up, went to the ATM, got three hundred dollars, put it in the envelope, and stuck it in the door and left. Cause I went. If I worked Saturday at my full time job, I could make two hundred dollars. But instead, I thought I go cut grass. So I was cutting that church property for seventy dollars. I'm I was losing money every time I pulled up. It got to the point. I said, I'm not about to let this property take my Saturday away. I started cutting them. I had my blades turning as soon as daylight came, which was 5.15 a.m. I said, nobody better tell, better not tell me nothing. 5.15 a.m., and I still didn't get out of there at 10.30. Cutting grass and weedy. Every two weeks. That lady I was doing that free yard, she came outside. She said, you cutting this church now? I said, yes, ma'am. I said to myself, I'm growing. I'm growing. I said, man, I'm growing. Man. I said, I want to, I, 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 man, I think I cut that. Here's where the problem came in at. When it rained, it held water. Boy, it took me, one time it rained, I couldn't get in there for about three weeks, about a month. He kept calling, man, when you going to cut? We, man, we want this thing cut for service start. I went over there on the side, I'm cutting, I'm getting stuck. I'm using my truck to pull myself out. I'm getting stuck again. It was a mess. And then I picked up 
Then look, one of the members, cause they had to let me in the in the in the gate beside the church. It was a small play area for the kids. So every Saturday I would come and be a new member to come open the gate for me. They probably were laughing, man, we got a dummy out here. Man, I wanna go see him, let me open the gate. So one guy was like, man, I, I got three acres I'ma need you to cut. I said to myself, man, this is where it start. This is where you start growing at. Man, they was trying to take advantage of me. Then I picked up another church. This one, I was getting, what I was charging for this other church? This other church I was charging $200 for. I think I was probably off about 175 on that one. I fired both of them. Boy, look, when I fired that $70, did what that dude say, that $70 church, I forgot his name, they just called him Mr. Bill. I said, Mr. Bill, I'm sorry. I said, Mr. Bill, I'm sorry I can't maintain the property anymore. This is what, this is what Mr. Bill said. <sighs> you ought not take on nothing you can't handle. I ought not take on nothing I can't handle. Flip that. Look, that lady yard I was cutting for free, she said it was six of them out there cutting it. You doing it all by yourself. Look, the following week I was out there cutting that free yard. They had three craftsmen out there and five trimmer boys. I'm gonna say it again. They had three craftsmen more with the steering wheel and five trimmer boys. Flip that property. They was taking advantage the whole time. Man, I don't, man, flip. If they was to call me to that property today, if they was to call me to that property today, I need a thousand dollars a cut. Thousand dollars a cut. Take it or leave it. And I'm fixing to show y'all that property I'm talking about. Flip them. All right, here it is, y'all. <laughs> looking at, looking back, I said it's about three acres. Two. I don't know. Y'all look at them what y'all think. It start right there. It go all the way to the other street where you see that truck at over there. All it is. Hey, this a ditch right here. It's a ditch right here. I was weed eating that ditch. If you put that mower in that ditch, you'll get stuck. All of it. I was cutting this property right here and they came and stopped. All of this, you, this stuff grow fast too. It need to be cut again. You see all them hay bales out there? Look, that's a little, look, all this. You see that ditch? All of it, all of it. Look, we're gonna pull up on the property and turn around. <laughs> all of this, all of it. Man, I was cutting all that. Man, I remember dropping the gate at five in the morning trying to get out, blowing the parking lot. You see that little gate back area back there? He said, man, we want you to start doing the shrubs too. I said, man, let me hurry up quick for these shrubs start growing back here. All of this, you see, they ain't even doing the ditch. They ain't even doing it, all of this. Blowing the parking lot, all of it. Man, I was, look, look, now, look, man, I'm about to turn around up here. Look, it's grass right there in the back. Look, you see that fencing in area over there? At the edge, all it is. Man, I was getting the crap worked out of me. Man, I was so glad to get up out of here. <laughs> that man said, you ought not take nothing on you can't handle. Flip it, I can't handle. 